USO witnesses have also reported seeing water spouts beneath USOs as they exit the water, including Ed Walters, a resident of Gulf Breeze, Florida, who snapped this never-before-seen Polaroid picture of what appears to be a USO above a tornado-shaped water spout on July 7, 1988. So he was looking north towards Gulf Breeze across the Santa Rosa Sound, the distance of about 7,000 feet. He noticed that the water down beneath the object started to get all foamy or something. You could see it dancing around, and all of a sudden this column of water went up and contacted the bottom of it. The picture that he took actually shows that. Such cases have caused some experts to assert that USOs might possibly use water as a fuel source. USO witnesses have also reported seeing water spouts beneath USOs as they exit the water, including Ed Walters, a resident of Gulf Breeze, Florida, who snapped this never-before-seen Polaroid picture of what appears to be a USO above a tornado-shaped water spout on July 7, 1988. So he was looking north towards Gulf Breeze across the Santa Rosa Sound, the distance of about 7,000 feet. He noticed that the water down beneath the object started to get all foamy or something. You could see it dancing around, and all of a sudden this column of water went up and contacted the bottom of it. The picture that he took actually shows that. Such cases have caused some experts to assert that USOs might possibly use water as a fuel source. There are those who feel that water is essential for the fusion process. There are a lot of cases where UFOs hover over reservoirs and small bodies of water not only large bodies of water. It does seem to be some evidence that they can use water to help their craft in some way. They may use water as a fuel. Uh, in these cases where they talk about objects hovering over the water and seeming to suck water up in, certainly sounds like uh, they need a big drink or something to keep, keep going. <laughs> 